Okay, so these are all the supplies you're going to need. First, you're going to need a scrapbooking paper. You're going to need lettering. I prefer kind of sticky ones, but I still would hot glue on them. Scrapbooking, and of course, rhinestones and wiring for a bow. I first decided if I wanted a background or if I wanted the plain color that the school originally has. Instead, I opted for a pink background and all this pink background is is scrapbooking paper which you can get anywhere. I got this scrapbook paper from Joanne Fabrics. It's a pink with a slight glitter to it and I just loved this piece of paper when I saw it and I believe I paid. 59 cents or 69 cents for I recommend getting two of these just in case if anything goes wrong you always have a backup so this is my backup sheet that I thankfully did not have to use so all I did was figure out how much paper I needed for my cap and I just cut along the cap after you have your piece of paper cut out into a square for your graduation cap size you need to cut a hole for the tassel button. All I did was hold up my piece of paper that was cut already to the size of my cap and I just laid it over and felt where the button for the tassel was and I simply just made a circle for it. I just kind of outlined where I saw it was. That's kind of a sloppy rough draft of it but you get the idea. So all I did was then cut right there in the middle of the circle and then cut alongside of the edges of the circle. The next step what I did was I had to glue my scrapbook paper onto the cap itself. I used hot glue gun for that and I just squirted it all over to make sure it was nice and secure. That's the main thing. You don't want to be stingy with your hot glue gun. Just put it everywhere, that way you know it's on there and it's not going to be moving. Once the pink paper, your scrapbooking paper, is on the cap itself, you can start decorating. However, um, the only thing I caution you is to remember that a graduation cap has a front and a back to it. And the back is going to be where it's gathering. So always be careful to... Figure out what your front and your back is before you go ahead and decorate your cap because um, you do not want to put your letters, um, let's say this way, like start your saying here and it's actually the back of the cap. So um, if you understand what I'm trying to say is basically it would be flipped and opposite and yeah, you would not be very happy with your design. So make sure um, before you start decorating this is the front and this is the back. It seems like such a simple little thing, but I have seen so many people run into trouble with that. So I caution you, always check even if you think you know which is the front and what, what is the back. Okay, and once I got my piece of paper on, I went ahead and stuck on any kind of stickers or lettering. I wanted to get that on first and then I could decorate outside of that. So that is the very first thing I did was I got some pink sparkly letters. These are just from Joanne Fabrics. They literally 
had so many different styles, colors that you could choose from and I chose these ones because they really popped with the pink because it's purple. Um, so just make sure you find a lettering that's really going to pop and stand out so people can read what you have on your cap. So after I got my lettering on, I decided to go ahead and put borders on my cap. And I do not know where um, I got these because I got them from someone else. I got these from my friend. But I believe um, you can find these at Joanne Fabrics in like really thick strands. And um, it was just a lot easier instead of gluing on rhinestones all along the edge. It was just a, a simple um, laying out hot glue and then putting them on top of it and pressing down. And it literally took like no time at all. So if you want to save time instead of gluing on tons of little rhinestones along your edges I recommend going to get a strip of these kind of um, decorative uh, kind of like strips I guess they are and definitely go ahead and do that because that saves you so much time and you're not going to burn your fingers gluing on every little rhinestone and that's just a lot of tedious work. Um, go ahead and do that if you are down for it. But I did this cap in like a day, so I did not have enough time on my hands to go ahead and glue down rhinestones all along my edges. So this was a simple, quick alternative. This is the fun part. All the little decorations I bought for the cap. Medical scrapbooking um, stickers you can stick onto your cap, and they look really, really cute. I picked out this one and it had a few little um, medical symbols, stethoscope, and I just decided to put them on the cap. They weren't too big and overpowering. I decided to decorate my cap in a bunch of rhinestones that were kind of different. Um, I got them all in separate packs. This big pink one, this other one here, and these tiny little silver ones all came in a pack of about... 20 from Joanne Fabrics, and I believe I paid $3.99 for those, and like I said, I got about 20 in the pack, so I kind of scattered those. Also bought a pack that, of rhinestones of these pink and silver ones, and once again, I paid $3.99 for about 20 of those. And then the pearls also came in a separate pack, and once again, $3.99 for those in about a pack of about 20 I'd say. I definitely recommend pearls. Um, that's probably my favorite part of this cap is the pearls that I literally have everywhere all along here are pearls. Um, I just feel like the pearls really make the cap stand out. It gives it that little extra something. So definitely if you're into pearls give that a try because that was my favorite part of the cap was my pearls. Okay, and the very last thing I want to mention is how I got my bow on my cap. The worker said that she could actually make this for us. Yeah, so we picked out the ribbon and just brought it to the girl at the cutting desk. And we told her exactly what we wanted, um, showed her a picture. And the only things we had to buy um, was the ribbon in order to make it. We just told her to cut us a strip of it. And also we got some of... Uh, I don't even know what you call this. We got we bought some of this kind of like wiring for the girl to wire the inside of here um, to make it all connected into a bow. Don't ask me. I honestly would have no idea how to make this uh, myself. But um, yeah, that's what the girl did. She used some wiring and uh, some, this is really stiff ribbon. As you can see, you can kind of shape it. So if you want to go ahead and attempt this by yourself, make sure you get ribbon that's stiff. Um, you can kind of see when I hold it together, it holds that shape. So stiff ribbon and wiring is how you achieve the bow. The hardest part is deciding how to cut out your scrapbook paper if you're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and just make sure you're using hot glue gun to make sure everything is sticking and really holding. And also remember the front and the back of your cap before you start decorating. Those are the main tips I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!
Bye.